Hey boys and girls, this is Wild Man Willis here. I'm doing a review of Madam Web. Yes, I like to see Madam Web. All I gotta say is this movie is pointless. Pointless to the point of I didn't get any reason why anything was really happening in this movie. The bad guy really didn't have any real motivations, to be honest with you. I didn't even see the point of the bad guy. He looked like a, a, a bootleg Spider-Man hopping around. I could I don't know why they made the costume look like a bootleg Spider-Man. They could have had it be anything else because Ezekiel in the comic book doesn't even have a costume. I don't understand why they just didn't have him running around in his suit. Like he do in a comic book. That would have made more sense than give him a, a, a faux Spider-Man costume. And Madam Web, they basically just gave her powers when it was convenient for when she needed them. That's how I feel about this movie. This movie was just, it seemed like it was something left over from somebody else's script. And they... Added some stuff in to, to make it be something of a, a Madam Web movie. But yeah. And if you're expecting to see any of the girls in the suits for more than three minutes of the movie. You might as well forget it. Because that's all you're going to see. Them just being booked in. And and they tried to shove in that um, Uncle Ben was in the movie that was her. Her co-worker, I don't even understand why they even did that. And they had his sister was pregnant. So, they basically, they basically, they shoved in Peter Parker into the movie. But they ain't say his name. But you basically get the gist of what was going on with that one. And they had the nerd to pull out, try to do their own version of Great power comes great responsibility and it just didn't work and Madam Web had about 15 different type of powers in the movie that didn't make no sense. First she had um, she was clairvoyant. The next thing you know she, she could um, astral plane herself to three or four different places. It just didn't, didn't make any sense and went to Peru and had some um People jumping from the trees, called them the spider people. They, they was just making all kind of mess up. They was pulling so much mess out their ass for this movie. It's ridiculous, man. But it's not bad looking. It's just the movie was pointless. The characters were written poorly, especially the girls. Well, I don't understand if they knew that they was being chased after by this dude. And he kept on showing up everywhere they was at. At one point, I don't understand why they didn't stay put where they was at. And they had to follow along with a certain part near the end. If they would have just stayed where they was at, none of the ending would have happened at all. So that just didn't make any logic per se at all. The movie was just, I don't know, the movie was just pointless. All this is is an attempt for... Sony Studios just keep Spider-Man under their um under their guard so Marvel Disney don't get them back. But Marvel Disney, y'all need to shell out as much money as y'all can to get Spider-Man back from them and call it a day. This is Wild Man Willis signing off. See you next time.